well guys, today I have caught my first fisher. Um, I don't think it's a very big one. It looks like a young, uh, young of the year. But uh, as you can see, it's still alive. I have my trap up underneath this tree with some beaver flushings in it. So anyway guys, I don't want him to struggle. I'm going to get him out and uh, get him dispatched. So first fisher of the year. Talk to you later. Well guys, I've already caught the fisher this morning. I'm uh, just here on this hut. As you can see, there's a bubble trail that runs here and it out across where I'm here. Um, I just cut this one out. And I got myself a beaver. That's about a 25, maybe 30 pounds. So anyway guys, there's a beaver. Talk to you later. Well guys, I'm uh, here checking a few more traps. Today's uh, December 20th. Um, Saturday. Uh, as you can see, I got a big beaver pond here behind me, and up here is uh, a little creek that feeds down off of the wood road. I had a trap up here in the narrow. It was sprung. Nothing in it. Two days in a row now it's been like that. But luckily for me, I got myself a beaver here. Um, he's not a big beaver by no means. He's probably 15 pounds or so, but anyway, we're going to get him out of here, get this trap reset. Um, up here a little bit, we'll probably show you a video of the hut with uh, three feed piles. It's a really good hut, good for trapping on. I got a couple traps on it, so anyway guys, we're going to get this guy out and uh, continue to look at a few more traps. Talk to you later. Well guys, as you can see I'm out here on the hut. set up now for two days. Uh, as you can see right here, I got myself another small beaver. So that makes the second one out of this, this hut. And I go over here, and I got another one. Both the exact same size. Maybe. There. There we go, guys. There's three young of the year beavers out of this hut. Now eventually I'm going to get some bigger beavers. I hope. But anyway, that's three today. That's a decent day. Like I said, they're not real big, but uh, maybe I'll skin them up, tan them up, and turn them into some mittens or something. You never know. Gotta try something different with some young beavers. So anyway guys, I hope you can hear me well. Three beavers out of six traps. Pretty good day. And we'll hopefully get to show you some more beavers in a couple more days. See you later, guys. Hey, guys. It's B Simp here. I'm uh, just checking in some coyote snares. As you can tell, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I got one here that's alive, got him by the hind foot. And I got another beautiful coyote over here laying in the ground. Uh, he's laying very slim. Um, I had seven snares around here. A week ago I missed a coyote and today I have a double. This is the first time I've ever caught a coyote in my life so I'm kind of excited. But uh, now I gotta get them dispatched and get them home. One of them I gotta wash, the other one's fairly clean. So anyway guys, we'll talk to you in a bit. Well guys, we finally got the coyotes put down and got them out here. This guy's a little bit muddy and dirty but this guy's quite dark. Like. Uh, a lot darker than this guy. But this one here is a big male. Um, like I said, these are my first two coyotes I've ever caught, so I can't really judge, but this one's considerably bigger than that one. Um, good color on this one. This one's not so good because it's quite a bit darker, but anyway, got two coyotes, and we're uh, just starting the day. Hopefully, we get a beaver to go with it. Right on.